Hello and welcome to this video on Bodhicharya Avatara, uh, chapter 7, verse 23. Now I'm having a problem with my um, recording app, so I can't get my face as well as the as screen 3 visible at the same time. But what I'll do now, having done the title page, I'll bring up the text. Bear with me. Sorry about that. And here we go. So I shall read it out to you twice as usual. Sarve pivaidya kurubanti kriya dukkaira rogatam tasmad bahuni dukkane hantum sword of yamalpakam Sarve pivaidya kurubanti kriya dukkaira rogatam tasmad bahuni dukkane hantum Sodhavyam alpakam Sarve Vaidya All Doctors now, Veda from Vid I have a note of it down at the bottom um, from Vid here we are Vid to know um, Cognate, of course, with our English word wit and wisdom, witness. The verbal noun Veda, meaning literally vision or knowledge, Ayurveda, life science. And we have the Vridhi derivative from that. That's where we have a Vridhi of the vowel of the root. So Veda becomes and vaid and the a becomes a ya in this uh, vritti ya derivative so vaidya is a person of knowledge um, and this meaning rather than generally a knowledgeable person has become specialized particularly to mean a medical doctor so vaidya a doctor and in pali Actually, let me give you the iPad screen. So, Sanskrit, Vaidya, and in Pali, we see the word Vedja, meaning a doctor. Sarve Pivaidya. All doctors would be Sarve Vaidya. Remember, Sarva is of the pronominal declension, so it makes its plural, um, nominative, masculine, plural, not in an a, but in an e, serve. So serve by dia, all doctors. The emphatic particle api here, serve api becomes serve pi. That is emphatic in the sense, not just all doctors, but like every single doctor, all without any exception. Sarve pi vaidya. It usually means also, even, uh, but here it's just the emphatic as not just every doctor, but every single doctor. There is not a doctor who doesn't. So sarve pi vaidya kurvanti. Kurvanti, <coughs> from the root kri, uh, they, they make. It's a slightly irregular. We won't bother to deal with the, uh, the details of the irregularity here. But kurvanti, literally they do or they make. Arogatam. Roga is a disease. Aroga means without disease, and therefore healthy. And you can make an abstract noun out of that uh, by adding the, the suffix ta. 
So you have roga, disease, aroga, without disease, a person who does not have a disease, therefore a healthy person, and arogata, diseaselessness, the, um, the suffix ta, uh, making the abstract noun, diseaselessness. So, kurvanti arogatam, literally they make diseaselessness, which means they, they create health, they, they create freedom from, from illness. How? Um, kriya duhkair. The word kriya, it is one of the words meaning action, the most commonly known word for action from that serum root is karma, kriya, but it's more of a, much more of a sp specific act, not just karma, which is any kind of doing, doing things. Kriya is often used in a ritualistic sense of the kriya, the specific ritual performances that you do, um, and in this particular case, a kriya is a specific kind of acts as we talk about, not just the things that doctors do generally, but an operation, a specific procedure. So this, that's the, the more specialized meaning of this word kriya, specific acts that you do, specific procedures. So doctors, all doctors, every single doctor will create diseaselessness, literally, Kriya Kair Arogatam. Kriya Duhka, an operation pain, the, the unpleasantness of going through a me medical procedure. So, Kurvanti Arogatam, they make, they create diseaselessness, they restore health. Kriya Duhkar, by operation pains. So, by the pains, the Duhka, plural Duhkai. Kriadokai, instrumental plural, by the operation pains. So, having said that every doctor will you know, restore health, create health, kriadokai, by operation pain. By the way, the dokai, um, it would be, let me put it in here, you see where I am, on its own, this instrumental plural would be the Duhkei, but before the before following vowel, the ai becomes a r. Duhkei rarogatam by by Santi. Tasmad. Tasmad, literally from that, it's the ablative of that. So from that which is actually closely um, in line with the English therefore, which means from there, from, from that. Therefore, bahuni duhkani hantum surhabyam alpakam. So, hantum, from the root han, to kill, hantum, to kill, and here it's the infinitive of purpose, therefore, in order to kill. We use it the same way in English. Many small, a small pain must be born to kill many pains. To kill here in the sense of in order to kill. And the infinitive in Sanskrit can be used and is used here in exactly that same way. Tasmad for that reason, or therefore, um, Bahuni duhkani hantum to kill, or in order to kill, bahuni duhkani, bahu, many, neuter plural, bahuni, duhka, a neuter noun, therefore the, um, the plural, nominative, and accusative plural, always the same in the neuter, nominative and accusative, bahuni duhkani, many 
many pains, many sufferings. So, Bahuni Dukani Hantum, in order to kill many sufferings, Zodhavyam Alpakam, Alpaka, just mean a little, a little one, meaning a little pain, Zodhavyam is to be born. Um, the adjective Alpa means, I don't know if it's here, Alpa is an adjective meaning small, and sometimes the um, you can make a diminutive by adding ka. So alpaka, a tiny one, alpa, little, alpaka, tiny. So a tiny, what will a tiny pain? You already mentioned pains here, bahuni dukhkani. So when he talks about alpakam, a little, just in English we'd say a little one. What do you mean by one? Well, obviously we're talking about pains. So in order to kill many pains, a little one must be born. In Sanskrit, you don't put in the one, just a little. Sordhavyam must be born, must be endured. Sordhavyam. Um, the root sah um, means to endure. Where you get a suffix that begins with a T, as for example, the, the ta of the past participle, or the tavya of the gerundive, meaning requiring to be done. The What will normally happen by internal sandhi is that the a consonantal H, by consonantal I mean it's not the visarga, which was, we transliterated the subdotted H, but you know, the full consonant H that's part of the root, followed by a T, regularly merges to a D. Um, so it would normally be um, Sardhavyam, but by slight irregularity this A uh, becomes an O. So it's Sordhavya. The past participle will be Sordha, endured. We see the same happening in in the root mu, meaning to be deluded, which I'm highlighting here. Um, there we have a lengthening to make the past participle mudha um, de deluded. It is the mu plus ta. It lengthens the u again slightly irregularly. It's just what seems to happen if you've got an h in the way. Got mudha, but mudha. So mu ta becomes mudha. Sahta becomes Sordha. And so um, the instead of Sahtavyam requiring to be endured, must be endured, becomes Sordhavyam. So Sord Sordhavyam Alpakam, a little one is to be endured. Sordhavya, remember, it's an adjective meaning requiring to be endured, must be endured. And so it, it agrees um, with the with the new noun duhkam or alpaka alpakam duhkam sodhavyam alpakam duhkam just sodhavyam alpakam. So I will read it again, and then I'll read it again without the without the text showing. Sarve pivaidya. Kurvanti kriya duhkaira rogatam Tasmad bahuni duhkani hantum Sodhavyamal pakam And again I will read uh, without showing you the text on the screen Sarve pivaidya kurvanti kriya duhkaira rogatam Tasmad bahuni duhkani hantum sordhavyam alpakam. And that's all on verse 23.